I get on Twitter today, and I, lo and behold, I see that LeBron James is making fun of Kyle Rittenhouse because he's crying on the stand. I know this nigga's not talking. I know he's not talking. We caught this nigga last year crying because he got a cramp while he was playing basketball. Literal tears coming out of his eyes because of a cramp. And he wants to make fun of Kyle Rittenhouse for defending his life and crying about it on stage. A 17-year-old boy. Well, I think he's 18 now. When a grown third man in his mid-30s is crying about getting a cramp on the court. On the basketball court. Wow. LeBron James, you have no right to talk at all. And why do you always keep picking the wrong sides of every issue? From the BLM issue to the police shooting issue to to even this Kyle Rittenhouse issue. You're taking the side of of the victim of 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 child rapists? Really? The guy who tried to attack Kyle, both of them, well, one of them was a child rapist. Caught twice raping children. The other one was a guy who enjoyed strangling women. So that's the side you're fighting for now. Makes sense. That's that's the side these Democrats and leftists are fighting for. They're defending and mourning over child rapists and people who like to strangle women. And we've these Democrats have came a long way. <laughs> They're just as bad as they were, you know, decades ago. That's just, that's sad. So, LeBron, learn how to choose your battles better because it's just getting sad at this point. Talk to you guys later.